Let's cut through the noise. Interest rates might sound complicated, but at their core, they're actually pretty straightforward. Think of interest rates as the price tag attached to borrowing money, or the reward you get for letting a bank use your cash for a while. When you take out a loan, whether it's for a car, a house, or even just using your credit card, you pay interest. That's the cost of using someone else's money. On the flip side, when you stash your savings in a bank account, the bank pays you interest as a thank you for letting them use your funds. But who decides how high or low these rates go? That's where the Federal Reserve, or the Fed, comes in. The Fed sets a key rate called the Federal Funds Rate, which acts like a starting point for all other interest rates in the economy. When the Fed tweaks this rate, it sends ripples through every loan, credit card, and savings account in the country. If the Fed raises rates, borrowing money becomes more expensive, monthly payments on mortgages, car loans, and credit cards go up. But savers benefit, because banks start offering higher interest on savings accounts and CDs. When the Fed cuts rates, the opposite happens. Loans get cheaper, which can encourage people and businesses to spend and invest more, but savers might see lower returns on their deposits. These decisions don't just affect banks, they impact your wallet, your job prospects, and even the value of your investments. A change in interest rates can influence everything from the price of groceries to whether companies hire more workers. So, understanding interest rates is like having a weather forecast for your financial life. It helps you prepare for what's ahead, make smarter choices, and navigate the ups and downs of the economy with confidence. When the Fed hikes rates, saving money suddenly pays off. Interest rates on savings accounts, CDs, and other low-risk investments start to climb. That means every dollar you set aside works harder for you, growing faster than before. Banks compete to offer better returns so your nest egg can build up more quickly, giving savers a real incentive to stash away extra cash. With higher rates, banks offer better returns, and your nest egg grows faster. Watching your balance rise can be rewarding, and it encourages people to save more for future goals, like buying a home or planning for retirement. But borrowing, that gets painful. Higher interest rates mean loans, credit cards and mortgages all become more expensive. Monthly payments go up, and it's harder to qualify for new credit. Loans, mortgages and credit cards all cost more, so people spend less. Big purchases get delayed, and families tighten their budgets cutting back on non-essentials. That's the Fed's way of cooling off inflation. By making borrowing pricier and saving more attractive, they slow down spending and help keep prices in check. When rates drop, saving feels pointless. Returns shrink and it can seem like your money is just sitting there losing value to inflation. Returns shrink and inflation eats away at your cash. The money you've worked hard to save doesn't grow much, and its purchasing power slowly erodes. But, borrowing gets cheap, so people and businesses spend and invest more, juicing the economy. Lower rates make it easier to buy homes, start businesses, or invest in new projects which can boost growth and create jobs. Your financial strategy has to shift with the rate environment. When rates are high, focus on saving and paying down debt. When rates are low, consider investing or making big purchases. Play smart, and you can ride the waves instead of getting wiped out. Understanding how interest rates affect your money helps you make better choices, no matter what the Fed does next. Interest rate changes shake up the stock market. Higher rates mean companies pay more to borrow, so profits and stock prices often fall. Plus, safe investments like bonds start looking attractive, pulling money out of stocks. When rates drop, cheap borrowing fuels business growth and stock buybacks, sending stocks, especially tech, soaring. Growth stocks are hit hardest by rate hikes because their future profits are worth less today. When rates are low, risk-taking returns and the market rallies. Know the rate environment to know which stocks to own. Real estate lives and dies by interest rates. Higher rates mean bigger mortgage payments, pricing buyers out and cooling the market fast. Construction slows, home prices drop, and businesses pull back on borrowing and expansion. When rates fall, buyers rush in, home prices climb, and businesses invest in higher. Small businesses feel these swings even more than big corporations. The Fed's decisions ripple from Wall Street to Main Street, shaping the world around you. Watch the rates. They decide if it's time to buy, sell, or wait. Here's the bottom line. Interest rates are the master lever of the economy. When the Federal Reserve makes a move, it's like shifting the gears on a massive machine that touches every part of your financial life. Whether you realize it or not, the Fed's decisions ripple out, 
influencing everything from the cost of your mortgage to the returns on your savings account. They affect your savings, your loans, your investments, and your job. When rates go up, borrowing gets pricier, but your savings might earn more. When rates drop, loans get cheaper but your savings could take a hit. Even your job security can be impacted as businesses respond to changing costs. Ignore the Fed at your own risk. Their moves are the roadmap for your financial future. Every announcement, every rate hike or cut sends signals that investors, businesses, and everyday people use to make decisions. Missing these cues can mean missing out or getting caught off guard. You don't need to be an economist, but you do need to know which way rates are heading. A quick glance at the news or a simple alert on your phone can keep you in the loop. Understanding the Fed's direction helps you make smarter choices, whether you're investing, saving, or planning a big purchase. Pay attention to Fed meetings and statements, they're your early warning system. These events are like weather forecasts for your wallet, giving you a heads up before the financial climate changes. By tuning in, you can prepare and adjust before everyone else catches on. Adapt your strategy to the rate environment and you'll protect and grow your money. Maybe it's time to refinance, shift your investments, or boost your savings. The key is to stay flexible and informed so you're always one step ahead. Knowledge is profit, so stay sharp, watch the Fed, and make your money work for you. Booyah! The more you know, the more you can take control of your financial destiny, turning information into opportunity.